I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Psych Engine, otherwise known as Friday Night Funkin'. Um, th this is mainly just for Psych Engine, though. So let's get into it. So you're going to want to come over to this link. I'll leave it, I'll leave it in the description and download the most recent release. Come down here and download Psych Engine, either if you have a 64-bit computer or a 32-bit computer. Download one of those two and to save it. Okay, once that's done, just extract the file. It should take a little bit, but once that's done, okay. Now that that's finished, you're gonna wanna open up the file and then go to your mods folder. Here's the mods folder right here. It should have mod template and readme.txt. You don't need to worry about either of these two. And you can just ignore that. You're gonna want to come over and get your, your the mod that you want to install. Now this is very important. Open your files before you use them. To to check your file, you're gonna want to click on it and see if there's an exe. There is no exe in this file, so that means this is what we're gonna be using. But if you see here, this has an exe. This means you're just going to launch it straight from here, and it'll load straight in. This one, however, does not have an exe. So we're going to take this, and then drag and drop it into here. Then, we're going to want to go down to sitegenshin.exe and launch that. It'll show up with this pop-up. You're going to hit more info, and then run anyway. Alright, once that is loaded up, you'll be on the title screen. Mine looks a little different because I have some saved data. But yours, yours will look like the standard FNF title screen. So then, you're going to want to come down to Mods. And then, make sure this green light is enabled. Once you know that that is enabled, then you're just going to want to hit Escape. Replay. And your mods will be right there. All ready for you to go. Hope that was helpful, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you so much. Go check out all the links in the description for everything that I use in this video. Um, and hopefully that helped.